Hello everybody and welcome to my blues and boogie woogie lesson. We're going to look at the classic Blueberry Hill by Fats Domino on piano. Now, it's in the key of B flat, because that's the original key that the song's in. Okay, so just to sort of clarify on the piano, I haven't got the whole of the piano in focus. I haven't got the whole 88 keys, but this here is middle C, okay? This is middle C, so now you know roughly where we are. Now, I'm not going to go outside the boundaries of what you can see. I'm going to stay inside. So it's all visible. And we're going to start with the intro. Now, the intro is classic. So that's your intro to start with. Now, it starts with your thumb on the note B flat. Now it's the B flat just below middle C. So, so middle C is there, so this is the B flat note that you want. And you start with your thumb, so it's... It's two hits with your thumb on the B flat. Now instead of going straight to the D, it's... You try and slide, if you can, from the C sharp, which is just a semitone, as you can see, below the D. So you, the note you want to hit, really, is D. But if you can slide, like, kind of glide off the, um, off, off the C sharp with your index finger, it kind of makes it all sound much more of a, much more of a cool, sort of bluesy sound. Yeah, so... So it's... Then go back to your B flat. And then D. So it's essentially... Okay, B flat, B flat, D, B flat, D. But fingering is very important. It's vital in in, uh, in these kind of uh, situations to kind of get the effect. So you'd start B flat obviously with your thumb. So and then third finger on the F, back down to the D, and up to the F. So you've got. This stage, there's no left hand for these few notes. The left hand doesn't come in till till now. Now, what I've got here, so to start with, everyone that's kind of big, just beginning, uh, if you have, if you've never kind of attempted this before, um, don't get bogged down and too worried about the these little trills for now because they kind of they can, they can come into it later. Essentially, what you want is. Okay, it's G and B flat. So it's your index finger on the G and your third finger on the B flat. Now we're going we're going to come to the left hand in a minute. So don't worry, I'm not going to brush past that. We're going to go to the left hand, but I'm just going to show you the right hand just for now. So, so now here, when you do kind of uh, when you can kind of play that. Then you can kind of think about adding the, the kind of ice into the cake, if you like. You can kind of slide from the from the F sharp here, you know, with your with your index finger, and you slide to the G, and your middle finger goes on the B flat here. So so now you're a, a, an octave above. You started off from that B flat, and you have ended up an octave above on that B flat. So. It's, In time, you just keep practicing twiddling the G and the B flat together. And what you can do is, if you've got your sustain pedal, either on your electric piano or your um, acoustic real piano at home, the pedal can help with the effect. So it's not all the way, not from here. When you come to hit this bit, not too much pedal because you don't want it to sort of be too you know, too, 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 too muddy. So you've just got to sort of play it by ear. And if you think it sounds a little bit, all the notes are gelling into each other and running into each other, like paints, or, or you can't control them, keep them apart, then you, you ease off the pedal and then go back on it again. So it's... Now, the next part, it's... B flat with 
with your thumb. Again, you can see you're going back down to the B flat with your thumb, the B flat below middle C. Index on your E flat and little finger on the G. So, so you've got to kind of play these three, the B flat, the E flat, and the G are played kind of quite fast. So it's so it's B flat, E flat, G. Then F G. C sharp there, there with your index. Now that bit there, so it's, let's just start from the beginning. Just the right hand, okay? And then... So when there's an opportunity to either play the D and F or the G and B flat, if there's an opportunity to slide from the semitone below, just do it. That's kind of what blues is all about, really, or sort of integral part of it, anyway. So. C and E flat. Now with the left hand. So let's go back to the start of the intro. So there's no left hand at this point. comes in on the E flat and the left hand you want to get is it's E flat with your um, little finger then go to the up to up to the E flat with your thumb then G so E flat E flat G with your middle finger B flat B flat F sharp B flat, E flat. So one more time. So it's E flat, E flat, G, B flat, B flat, F sharp, G, B flat, back to E flat. So the left hand on its own is. Because the chord you're coming in on, you see, so you start there, but the chord that you're actually coming in on with the accompaniment being the left hand is, is, is the chord of E flat, you see, E flat major. So that, that's why you've got, got this kind of G and B flat part of it here. And the, and, and the, the left hand is just doing this riff. Here. So it's B flat, 
B flat D S S C sharp D S B flat and the right hand will play it. playing the C sharp in the left hand, the right hand plays D and F. C sharp and E in the right hand with the D in the left. Then a C and an E flat in the right hand with an F in the left. Stop. So, one more time from the top. So, the, you know. An important thing is that in the, so in, the, in the intro, so after the now this bit here, I often find to lean on the piano with my thumb here while I'm doing the trills. Because if you just do it without any kind of resting, then nothing to sort of lean onto. It becomes very difficult. It can be done, but I find it a help to put to rest the thumb there. So. in my thumb there. And then very important is trying to get this bit. Now, that's the intro. On to the first verse. Now, if you want to sing the song and just sort of accompany, it, um, accompany yourself with the piano, then it's, it's different than actually having to play the tune of the song as well on the piano. So if you're just singing, like I was doing on my demo video on YouTube, so it's... I found my thrill. So I'm sort of singing the melody, so it saves me a job having to learn it um, on the piano, having to play it. And I'm just playing the chord. So let's just do that first. I'll sing it first. Then for those of you that want to play the actual tune, the melody, then, then, then we'll play it. Okay, so. I found my thrill. So we're, so we're going to E flat, so the chord of E flat, which is kind of a E flat G. B flat and E flat at the top, so it's so the left hand is the same as it was in the intro. In fact, it's the same all the way through the song. You know, the riff, the sort of so in the ver the first verse is kind of triplets it's kind of a six eight um, type of rhythm so in other words the the, 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 um, the right hand is playing one two three four five six G B flats and E flat one two three four five six one two three four five six and the left hand is so it's playing the same riff as it was in the intro so really slow down it's The first three hits of the E flat is with the, the chord of E flat in the right hand is with the first E flat of the left hand. There's one, two, three. Then the top E flat. Then G in the left hand. B flat in the left hand. So you've got to kind of 
practice that rhythm. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Just keep, just practice it. It's kind of co you know coordinating that left hand pattern there. This right hand pattern here. So a good example would be uh, all about the rhythm now. Okay, so we're going to sort of just uh, put the notes, the actual notes, to one side, and we're going to tap it as if we were drummers. <laughs> okay, so the right hand will be playing this. You know this triplet thing: one, two, three, four, five, six; one, two, three, four, five, six; one, two, three, and so on. Now the left hand is going to go. The idea is to play those together, that rhythm. Okay, so I'm going to start with the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And so on, right, okay? So the only thing you've got to do now is once you can tap that rhythm with both your left hand and your right hand, it's kind of a matter of doing it but playing the right notes on the piano so so I found my thrill so that's what's happening that's the right hand is playing and the left hand is playing this riff Same, no matter what chord you change to, the rhythm stays the same. So when, so after the E flat chord, which is as we know, G B flat and E flat, now we go on Blueberry. The word hill, that's when we change to B flat. Now the notes for the B flat chord in the right hand are F, B flat, and D. Uh, thumb on the F, uh, middle finger on the B flat, and your little finger on the D. Put it here, or you can actually use your uh, uh, index finger on the B flats. And what I tend to do is change. I go index, middle, index with the watch. But it doesn't matter. You can either use your index, your middle, or both. Okay. So I'm blueberry here. The, the notes in the left hand are B flat, just like they were in the intro. B flat with your little finger down there, and up there to the octave to B flat with your thumb. And then D F F C sharp D F B flat B flat. Then top B flat D F F C sharp D F. the F an octave down. Okay, so the F an octave down is here, where my little finger is. So, at the top, I find my thrill on Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. Now, F, you want to go to your F, and the F riff is F, bottom F, top F, A, C, C, A flat, A, C, F. And again, you're playing triplets with the right hand, which is F, the chord of F, F, A, and C. Here. Where I, so that, that riff in the left hand, F, F, A, C, C, A flat, A, C, F. Here. That back to your B flats. Now there, I'm going into the, the the next verse, which is the moon stood still. So on Blueberry Hill, where I found you, so on the B flat bit there, I add that note just to lead me into the second uh, verse, which is the seventh B flat seventh. F A 
flat, B flat D. The moon stood still. The, the moon stood still. dreams came true, this bit. Now the, the, the left hand stays the same, the B flat. And the right hand came true. Left hand doesn't move, but the right hand plays this inversion of the B flat on dreams came true. Which is D, F and B flat true. This E flat minor, E flat, F sharp, and B flat. The wind, in, and then it goes into your middle eight. Okay, so let's now go to playing the 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 verse, but playing the tune on the piano rather than singing it. For all those that sort of don't really want to sing it. So we've got the intro. So we're going to play the we're going to play the verse. He said the notes are B flat I found D my and then thrill. You can play the a bit like the intro. I found my B flat D F thrill, which is G and B. You can still do this triplet thing as well at the same time. So, I found my thrill. On blueberry hill. So, on G, E flat, on blueberry, e, B flat, re, up to G, blueberry hill, and end on the D and the F. as well if you want. B flat, D, F, the moon stood still. So E flat now, again, E flat, it's just a repeat of the first verse really. Stood still. flat is this very important left hand riff and you need to learn it in three chords so it comes in on the so the chords are okay E flat I found my thrill
word hill, he's back to B flat. Hill. playing it um, in the right hand. So the tune on its own is So if you don't want to do that riff in the left hand just yet, you can just play a chord. And the chord is just E flat. The chord are V flat. E flat G, B flat. to accompany yourself just the chords just to start with or when you get kind of going then you can start bringing in that left hand which is I must admit it's not easy to do both together but you you know if you, if you do you know if you spend an hour a day one hour a day okay for about a month I know it sounds like hard work and it is hard work you'd be very very surprised of how you would um, how quickly you would you would actually uh, pro uh, you know, progress? So, where I found you, B flat, B flat D F. The moon stood second verse still. So, so far we have the intro, verse 1, verse 2. Now, let's look at the middle eight. Okay, so let's look at the middle eight. So, we've just ended verse 2, which ended like this. So, I'll do the singing part first, and then to the tune, just like we did in verse 1 and 2. My dreams came true, there's your E flat minor. The wind, on the word wind, it's an octave F in the bass, with a, you know, two Fs, and on the word wind in the right hand it's E flat, A, and C. The wind, the wind in the Again, we've come back to B flat. Wind in the whip, the willow play. So the left hand is, is doing the, the B flat riff again. Willow play. B flat, B flat, D, F, F, C sharp, D, F. Willow play. But we end on the F there, we don't go back to the B flat. Willow play. And that is because we've got to go back to F again. So two Fs again, and E flat, A, and C in the right hand. Love, sweet, mellow. Love, sweet, mellow, okay? Love, 
So you, you go back to your F riff in the left hand, the this chord. That's called F seventh. The wind, the wind in the willow play. Love, sweet, mellow. Mellow. So you got your riff in the left hand. Love, sweet, mellow. Now back to B flat again. D. The same old riff, the same old faithful riff in B flat. D. But all of those, now that is A7. So it's an octave A, no particular riff going on in the left hand, just a sort of octave. Octave A's. But all of those, so that, that is A7 in the right hand, and the inversion you want is thumb on the E, index on the G. Third on the A and the fourth finger on the C sharp. But all of those vows we now vows we made is the chord of D minor. And the little riff you want in the left hand, it's the same thing but it's in D, so it's not in D actually, it's in D minor. Vows we made. So it's D, D, F, A. This again afterwards because it's quite tricky with the chords. To F seventh, the we to B seventh, B flat seventh, the we're apart, and then you're back to verse three. Okay, let's look at it one more time. So the essential chords you want for the middle eight, the wind, so the wind, the wind, the wind, the wind is F seventh. F A C E flat and F. The wind in the willow play. That's B flat. B flat D and F. But then B flat bass. The wind in the willow play. Go back to F. F seventh. I mean A C E flat. I mean you could play straight F. But it sounds nice if you can stick the seventh in. Love sweet mellow. So F in the left hand. Single notes or octaves. A in the right hand, C, E flat, and F. Love, sweet melody. Here's your B flat chord. But all, that's an A. But all, or A7. A in the right hand, C sharp, and F, and E. All of those with an A octave in the bass. Left hand. Those vowels we made. That's a D minor, which is just A, D, and F. Back to your A seventh, which is A, C sharp, and E, or if you want to make it a seventh, it's G, C sharp, and E, with an A bass. We're only two. Now, instead of going back to D minor, this is a nice little touch, actually, a nice little turnaround, a nice little trick that uh, you don't often hear on people playing the cover version of it. So, so, so it's gone from D minor to A. Instead of going back to D minor, it goes to D major. To B. The riff in the left hand for D major. D, D, F sharp, A. A, F sharp, A, only to B. Now, just play a F7. F, A, F in the left hand, A, C, E flat, and F in the right hand. Do we, do we, back to B7, B flat 7. On verse 3, you bother me still, for you were my friend, on a blueberry hill. Okay.
Okay, so let's just recap on that middle eight with the tune this time. So, so let's just suppose we've come to the end of verse two. Yeah. The, so it starts with an F. So F, C, D, E flat. And then you can play D and F together for the middle eight. Same old riff going on in the left hand, which goes on all throughout the song. See, when the left hand goes to F. Flat in the left hand and F in the right hand. Add a D to it to make it a little bit fuller. Melody. So your left hand has gone to A, octave A's, octave A's, O, E, F, G, Vowels. A D minor there, D, F, and A. Seventh or just a straight A. Whoa, A, D, A, D, F, G, and now D7. We're only to B, and then that's kind of C, F sharp, and A. B, and if you kind of do a triplet, we're only to B. The riff in the left hand. Again, then for the, for the third verse. Okay. trickiest part of the song. Okay, so then after the middle eight, it, it, it goes into verse three. So we're apart. You bother me. G, E flat, B flat, G, back to B flat. On this part of the lesson, we've all, okay, we've, we've had the intro, we've had verse one, verse two, and we've had the middle eight. Now we're going to look at the solo. There's not a solo on the original record, but we're going to throw one in just to see how it goes. Okay. So, um, so we've just come to the end of the uh, middle eight, and then we've done the third verse. Though we're about to be still for you, my thrill, blueberry here. Solo. Kind of focusing around the scale of B flat, the blue scale of B flat, not not that one, the one that goes. Same as the blue scale in C, you know, like or G. Except this one is in B flat. Now the notes of the blue scale in B flat are. 
We start at the top. B flat, B flat, A flat, F, E, E flat, C sharp, and B flat again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven notes. B flat, A flat, F, E, E flat, C sharp, and B flats. So I'm starting the solo like. So I'm soloing a round of verse, okay, to start with. That's the important thing to know. So it's almost like, I found my thrill, but I'm not playing the tune. I'm improvising or trying to improvise. Um, so you've got some kind of solo. And the solo, the notes I'm using for the solo are the notes of the B-flat scale. I'm not playing any other notes. So it's... So after you've played, you know, your, your, your middle eight, then your third verse, you could do like a little stop after that first verse. Come on, Blueberry Hill. Stop. Okay, so you can either play the straight tune, but you see, and all this is played an octave above middle C. Because if I was to play the solo around there, it wouldn't really sort of stand out. So you can play it above the octave above middle C, or even the octave above again. So I'm playing. So the left hand is staying the same. So you, you can play any old notes in this B flat scale. So let's just try it. We'll just play it with a chord in the left hand to start with. So, so after the stop. I guess I'm playing the chord of E flat in the left hand, and then back to E flat, but back to B flat then. in the left hand. So what, I'm do what I've done there, really, to, to, to slow it down, is, because the, the best thing to do is practice this with the chords in the left hand. If you can't get the sort of synchronisation, you know, exactly right with the, the bass and the solo, then start it just with the chords. So the solo will be round, you know, you start off playing the chord of E flat. And all the notes I'm playing are these, look, B flat, C sharp, E flat, E, F, A flat, and B flat, back down again. And or you might want to go all the way up. But it doesn't really matter, as long as you don't play any other note but those, it doesn't sort of matter what, what order you play them in. So, I mean, I'm doing a bit of like that. Sometimes playing two notes together. B flat. And then when you play the F. So that's how you sort of would solo. You, so you're only actually using six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. And the seventh note is the same as the top, the first note, because it's B flat's the root. So if you want, you could just go up and down using those notes. And back up again. Back to B flat. Then. So basically, eventually then, you would use the, um, the left hand riff that we be looking at and try and synchronize them together but but you've got to kind of practice that left hand with the with the triplets first and then eventually kind of after you know a few weeks of practice or whatever it is maybe a few months so I don't know a couple, a couple of days a couple of hours depends on kind of how much time you put in and it's kind of where you are up to now on on your knowledge anyway of playing so here we go on blue on blueberry hill. of the middle eight. Exactly the same. The wind in the willow play. Back to F. Love
sweet melody, B flat. And then to A to D minor, to A to D minor, to A to D major, to F7. And then the last verse, first four, do, re, re, pa. Stop at the end. On blueberry, G G F C. And that chord at the end is just the B flat. So it's D, F, and B flat. To E flat minor. To B flat major so to E flat minor. Here. And you end on. So I hope I've talked you through Blueberry Hill today. I hope you like it. I hope you can pick something up from it. I agree, it's a little bit tricky if you're an absolute beginner or a sort of novice, especially the middle eight actually. I must admit, I had a little bit of trouble with that myself some time ago, but it's worth putting the practice in. Um, and it's definitely worth learning it in B flat. B flat's the original key and it sounds better in B flat.